Hi friends, I'm so happy to see you. I was talking with our bug friends while I was waiting for you. I can't wait to tell you all about the fun I had last night. Have you guys ever been camping? You have? Me too. Well, I went camping last night and I, when I looked into the sky, I saw so many stars. It was amazing. Let me show you the picture. You're going to love it. Isn't it awesome? So many stars. Oh, that reminds me of a true story from our favorite book, the Bible. It's about the night that God told a man named Abraham to look into the night sky and then God made Abraham an amazing promise. And guess what, boys and girls? Abraham believed God. Let's watch today's true story together. So let's fasten our seatbelts and turn on your listening ears way up. Good job. Okay, let's watch. Oh, hey there. I am Abraham. I love God and he loves me. Let me tell you about what happened to me one day. God spoke to me. He said, Abraham, do you believe that I will keep my promises to you? Yes, God, I do. Do you trust me? Do you believe I will do what I say? Yes, God, I do. Okay, then I want you and your wife, Sarai, to move far away. Where, God? I will show you later. Trust me. Okay, God, I will trust you. So, you see, that is exactly what happened. Sarah and I went on a long journey. We walked forever. Guess what? God took us to a nice place and kept us safe. God came back to us again and said, Abraham, you will be the father of my special family and have many children. God, I am old though. How can I have many kids? Trust me, Abraham, your children and grandchildren will be as many as the stars in the sky. Guess what? Sarah and I did have a baby, and his name was Isaac. I trusted God and did everything he said he would. Friends, you can trust God too. He keeps his promises, and so we can trust him. So glad I met you here today. Bye. Friends, isn't that one amazing story? God told Abraham and Sarah to go to a place that God would show them. God told Abraham that he was going to be the father of God's special family and that Abraham and Sarah would soon have so many children. Abraham and Sarah were very old and they didn't even have one child, but they believed and trusted God and God kept every one of his promises. Abraham and Sarah learned that they could always trust God Friends, can we always trust God too? That's right. That's our big idea. Trust God. It's only two words. Who has two fingers? Let's see them. Hold them up high. Great. Now shout today's big idea. Trust God. Let's share our big idea with Bible Buddy and see if he has any Bible words to help us learn our big idea even better. Before we do that, let's sing his favorite song. Are you ready? The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. Hi, Bible Bunny, how are you? We learned something super great today and I would love to share it with you. Do you have your listening ears on? Okay, good, because we learned a new big idea Friends, hold up two fingers and let's show Bible Bunny our big idea together. Ready, set, go. Trust God. Bible Bunny, aren't those the two best words ever? We saw a true story about Abraham. God made Abraham and Sarah a promise and God kept his promise. Abraham and Sarah learned that God always keeps his promises and they learned to trust God. Well, we were wanting to know if you had any Bible words you could help share with us to help us learn our big idea even better. You do? Friends, let's hear what God wants to say to us from the Bible today. Put your listening ears on, turn the volume way up. Great, okay, Bible buddy, we're ready for you to share Bible words with us. 
Bible buddy, Proverbs 3, 5 is perfect. Friends, here's what God wants to tell us in Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes, we don't only trust a little, we don't only trust sometimes, we want to always trust God with all our heart. Oh, Bible Bunny, thank you so much for sharing your Bible words. Abraham and Sarah trusted God with all their hearts, and I want us to trust God with all our hearts as well. Friends, Bible Bunny wants our help. He wants to know if we could share some ways that we could trust God. Let's help Bible Bunny. Okay, Bible Bunny. Put your listening ears on. I'm going to share one way you can trust God. Friends, after I share, I want you to jump up, hold up two fingers, and shout, trust God. Ready? Here we go. Bible Bunny, every time there's a storm outside, you can, friends, shout today's big idea, trust God. That's right. God loves us and is always there with us, even when it's raining outside, so we can trust God. Does that help, Bible Bunny? Great. Okay, friends, we are helping Bible Bunny. Bible Bunny, I will share one more. Put your listening ears on, and friends, let's get your fingers ready too. Okay, Bible Bunny, when mom and dad drop you off at Sunday school, you can... Ready, friends? What's our big idea? Trust God. Yes, God loves us and is with us when mom and dad take us to Sunday school so we can trust God. I hope that helped you, Bible Bunny. Wonderful. Friends, Bible Bunny is so happy we were able to help him today. He's ready to trust God with all his heart. Bye, Bible Bunny. We'll see you next time. Friends, let's sing about trusting God with all our hearts. Put your right hand in and you shake it all about You gave your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around That's what it's all about Put your left hand in, you put your left hand out Put your left hand in and you shake it all about You gave your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around That's what it's all about Give your heart to Jesus Give your heart to Jesus Give your heart to Jesus And that's what it's all about Put your right foot in, you put your right foot out You put your right foot in and you shake it all about You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around That's what it's all about You put your left foot in your left foot out, you put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. And that's what it's all about. You put your head in, you put your head out You put your head in and you shake it all about You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around That's what it's all about You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out You put your whole self in and you shake it all about You give your heart to Jesus and you turn yourself around That's what it's all about Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. And that's what it's all about. Everybody, give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. And that's what it's all about. Friends, show me two fingers. Great. Now shout today's big idea. Trust God. Yes. Sometimes I forget to trust God, but I know that even when I forget, God still loves me. Can you show me with your arms how much God loves you? Is it this much? 
No. Is it this much? No. Is it this much? Yes. God loves us this much all the time, even when we forget to trust God. It's almost time to go. But before we go, let's pray. Let's be very quiet. Let's be very quiet. We fold our hands and bow our heads and pray to God. Dear God, thank you for loving us, for always being there with us, and for always having a good plan, and for always keeping your promises. We love you. Help us to trust you with all our hearts, all the time. Amen. Friends, have a great week and remember to trust God all the time with all your heart. Bye.